Welcome to this lower body flexibility class where we're gonna focus on deep stretching for tight hips and hamstrings and we're gonna get started lying on our backs. So just come to lie all the way down. We'll start how we usually end the practice in Shavasana. So just extending the arms wide, legs wide, melting the whole body down into the mat and closing down the eyes if you haven't already. And using this pose right away to let go of any tension, releasing any stress from your day, and especially tightness in the hips is a sign for a lot of stress, because when we're stressed out, the psoas muscle, which contains the hip flexor, is really tightening together. So with this practice, I really encourage you to consciously decide to blend out anything that has happened so far, that's happening around you right now, and become fully present in your body and on your mat. And with the next inhale, start to stretch your arms up above the head, giving yourself a full body stretch from the tips of the toes all the way into the fingertips and then hugging the knees into your chest from here holding on to your knees with your hands starting to draw the knees apart and together in one direction so drawing circles with your knees apart and together and then reversing the direction moving the opposite way starting to open up the inner thighs moving into the hip sockets and from here we're gonna interlace the fingers now around the right shin extending the left leg all the way down into the mat and hugging the right knee into the chest starting to find a gentle stretch into the left hip flexor from here, keep the knee where it is, but remove your hands from the shin. So keep hugging the right knee into your chest with the strength of your leg. Full breath in. And exhale, bring your hands back onto the shin, hugging the knee in a little bit closer. And then interlacing the hands around the thigh. So bringing the hands behind the right thigh and then starting to straighten and bend into the right leg straightening and bending to softly stretch into the right hamstring and the next time that the right leg is extended either keeping your hands behind your thigh or sliding them up towards the right shin or maybe holding on to the right toe choosing whichever option is accessible to you and Holding it here, trying to straighten out the right leg, so no bend in the right knee. Keeping the left hip grounded. Maintaining a deep breath. Full inhale in through your nose. And full exhale out through the nose. And gently re-bending the right knee. Bring the left hand to the outside of the knee and draw the leg over to the left. Gaze over the right shoulder for a gentle twist. Grounding the right shoulder down. And again, deep inhale in. And full exhale out. Coming slowly back to center. From here, either holding on to the big toe with the peace fingers or keeping the knee bent and holding on to the knee opening the leg out to the right so moving into the inner right thigh if you have the flexibility you can fully straighten the leg but it's no problem here to keep the knee bent try to keep the left hip down in the mat so the hip tends to lift up here keeping it grounded and with the next inhale coming back to center and then bending both knees hugging them into the chest switching sides keep the left knee hugging in and extend the right leg all the way down into the mat from here we're gonna remove the hands from the shin keep hugging the left knee 
into your chest with the strength of your legs. Full inhale in. And exhale, bring the hands back onto the shin, hugging the knee in a little bit closer. And then bring your hands behind the left thigh and start to straighten and bend the left leg. Starting to ease into the left hamstring. And then keeping the leg straight, maybe sliding your hands up to the shin or holding on to the big toe. Again, trying to keep the left knee fully straight, no bend in the knee and grounding the right hip down into the mat. The body really likes to escape the stretch, so try to keep your alignment. And of course, try to stick with your breath. So full inhales in and full exhales out. And we're gonna re-bend the left knee, bring your right hand to the outside of the knee and draw the leg over to the right, bringing the gaze over the left shoulder, the left fingertips, drawing the left shoulder blade down into the mat for a gentle twist. Inhaling in and exhaling out, coming back to center and from here either holding onto the big toe or the inner knee, opening the leg out to the left. It's no problem to keep the knee bent here, but try to keep the right hip grounded down into the mat so that we move the stretch to the inner left thigh. You can bring the right hand onto your right hip to draw the hip further down. Full breath in and full breath out. The next inhale, bring the leg back to center, bend the knee, hug both knees into the chest, moving into happy baby, holding on either to the outside or the inside of the feet, grounding the lower spine down into the mat and rocking from side to side, maybe straightening one leg and then the other and eventually straightening both legs, but only if that feels good, otherwise just keep your knees bent. And then slowly releasing your hands from your feet and bringing them behind the thighs. Starting to rock up, crossing the ankles and rolling over the knees or just moving your legs to one side. Coming into our tabletop position with the hands directly underneath the shoulders and the knees directly underneath the hips. We're gonna do some really slow cat and cows. So with the next inhale, Drop your belly and lift the chin, look up, arching the spine. Exhale, chin to your chest, rounding the spine, pressing the palms into the mat. Again, inhale to arch, feeling the whole spine arching, looking up, chin up. And exhale, reversing that motion, rounding the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. Last time. Inhale, feel the entire spine arching and with the exhale, rounding chin to your chest. And then coming back to a neutral spine and bring the right foot forward to the outside of the right hand, maybe shifting the left knee backwards into a runner's lunge and then tuck the left toes, lifting the left knee off the mat and starting to move into the hips here, maybe drawing circles, maybe moving forwards and backwards. Easing into that left hip flexor. And then lowering the left knee back down. Untuck your toes. Keep the left palm down in the mat and reach the right arm up and back towards the left foot. From here we're gonna bend the left knee and if it's accessible to you, then hold on to the left foot with the right hand and draw the heel towards your butt cheek for a quad stretch. If it feels good, maybe you even want to lower down onto the forearm. And if the foot seems too far away, just keep drawing the heel in with the strength of your hamstring. One more inhale. 
and with the exhale releasing the left foot back down into the mat bringing the right palm or maybe the forearm down for a deep version of our lizard pose softening the left hip towards the mat deep inhale through your nose and out through the nose coming back onto the palms and shifting the right foot over to the left bringing the right chin down for our pigeon pose the more parallel the right chin is to the short end of the mat the deeper the stretch trying to keep the left hip drawing towards the mat and then walking the hands forward and melting the upper body over the right chin maybe bringing the forehead all the way down into the mat and stretching into the outer right hip letting go of any tension in your face and also consciously softening all the muscles in your outer hip. Releasing layers of tension, layers of stress. With the next inhale, coming back onto your palms to lift back up, rolling onto the outer right hip and swinging the left leg all the way over so that we can stack the knees on top of each other for Gomukhasana, cow face pose. Keeping the sit bones rooting down into the mat and either staying seated upright or walking the hands forward, bringing the chin towards the knees and folding over the legs, stretching into the outer hips. Slowing down your breath inhaling in and exhaling out lifting back up and rotating the left leg all the way back out straightening the left leg and bringing the right foot to the inner left thigh and then removing any fleshy bits underneath the sit bones to sit up tall, reaching the arms up, inhale and exhale, folding over the legs for Janu Shirshasana, bringing the stomach to the thigh, forehead towards the shin and stretching into the left hamstring, trying to minimize any rounding in the spine. Taking our last round of breath here, full inhale in and with the exhale starting to lift back up, coming out of the pose. From here bend your knees and bring your feet as wide as the mat, palms behind your spine and start to windshield viper your legs from side to side, letting go of any tension and then coming back onto the knees, back onto all fours. We're gonna switch sides, bring the left foot to the outside of the left hand, tuck the right toes, lift the right knee off the mat and start to move into your hips. Maybe you wanna shift the right foot a bit further backwards to make room for your hips here, feeling the stretch and slowly lowering the right knee down, untuck the right toes and reach the left arm all the way up and back bending into the right knee maybe getting hold of the right foot giving yourself a quad stretch drawing the right heel towards the right butt cheek if you want more you can lower down onto the right forearm softening the right hip towards the mat full breath in Exhale, letting go of the right foot, bringing it back down and bring either the left palm or the left forearm down into the mat. Full lizard pose, breathing into your hips, inhaling in and exhaling out. <sighs> Lifting back onto your palms and heel toeing the left foot to the right side of the mat to bring the left chin down setting up for our sleeping pigeon again the more parallel the left chin is to the short end of the mat the deeper the stretch 
lowering all the way down, melting the upper body over your shin, maybe bringing the forehead down into the mat and fully surrendering to your sleeping pigeon, to that stretch in the outer left hip, trying to keep all your awareness with your breathing and with the sensations in your hip. With the next inhale, start to slowly lift back up, rolling onto the left hip and swinging the right leg all the way around and over to stack the knees on top of each other. And then rooting both sit bones firmly down into the mat and either staying seated upright or folding forward, bringing the chin towards the knees forearms down into the mat and stretching into the outer hips. With the next inhale, lifting back up, swinging the right leg all the way out and bringing the left sole of the foot to the inner right thigh. Sitting up tall, reach your arms up towards the ceiling, inhale and with the exhale, folding over the right leg, Shanushirshasana, full hamstring stretch, thinking of stomach to the thigh, forehead towards the shin, finding length in your spine, and with the next inhale, coming back up, coming out of the pose, bringing the soles of the feet to touch for Bhattakonasana. Heels are about in one line with the knees. Holding onto the feet, we're gonna draw circles with the upper body. So rotating one way. And then switching it out, moving the opposite way, stretching into the inner thighs. And from here, just cross your ankles, resting the hands onto your knees closing your eyes for a moment going fully inwards and bringing the hands in front of the heart bowing your forehead to your fingertips to thank yourself for taking the time to practice and I thank you so much for choosing to practice with me I hope you enjoyed it. I always love to hear your feedback, so you can just leave it down below. If you're not already a subscriber, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button, maybe even turn on the notification button. Then you'll get notified whenever I'm uploading a new video, which is every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. I hope I'll see you around here and can't wait to practice with you soon again. See you soon. <laughs> bye bye.